Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Welcome to Postscript. I'm Michael Sullivan, business administrator here at FaithBridge, and I'm joined by Pastor Ken, who just brought us part one of our new series called Shareable. Thanks for being here, Pastor Ken. Sure. Uh, we've got two questions, so let's jump into answering those. The first one, uh, in your sermon, you were talking about sharing your faith, inviting people to come and see Jesus. And y you mentioned briefly uh, about a Jewish family, but this question is, how do you share your faith with people from other religions? If you were to encounter a Muslim or a Jewish person, uh, you don't want to offend them mm. uh, by introducing them to Christianity. How do you strike that balance of wanting to share the good news but not wanting to offend them because you know that they believe something else? That's right. Well, uh, in First Peter, we're told to always have, uh, always be prepared uh, to have a reason for explaining the hope that we have. Um, and so giving some forethought to it is, I think, a great idea. I can illustrate, I can answer maybe through an illustration. I'm in a group of clergy, that's a fancy word for preachers, um, that has, I think there are seven of us who are Christian pastors, seven Jewish uh, rabbis, and seven uh, Muslim imams. Hmm. Sounds like it'd be a joke. Uh, what do you get when you have seven? Yeah. And, but it's not. It's it's a serious group. And the idea is that we would come together uh, and you know, certainly listen to each other and, and learn from each other and this sort of thing. But more importantly, um, that we might be able to even care for one another and especially in times like Hurricane Harvey, uh, even work alongside one another, maybe with a little better understanding than uh, in the previous uh, times. Mm -hmm. So we were having our initial retreat for 24 or 48 hours, and it was really interesting, and it was a well-guided experience by a person who's kind of organizing this whole thing. And at one point, one of the Jewish rabbis said, well, I just got to come out and we're being honest here, right? And we're trying to build friendships and, and, and that's right. He said, it's kind of hard for me to believe that we could ever really be too much of friends because you Christians, you always want to convert us. And all of us Christians were like, mm, well, yeah, kind of. But then my friend Steve Besner at Houston Northwest Church, he spoke. And what he said it just couldn't have been improved upon. It was marvelous. He finally said after a tense moment of silence, he said, well, yes, I guess we all always are wanting to share the good news, but it's not because we wouldn't also want to just enjoy friendship with you, even if you never converted, even if you never uh, turned to Jesus, we still would want to be your friends. Mm -hmm. But he said, what we would hope that you would understand and that you could even respect about us is that we just believe so much in what we've experienced about the good news that Jesus brings that we can't constrain ourselves from talking about it sometimes. Mm. And I, I was like, that's it right there. Yeah. Um, and I think that's the right spirit. Um, um, you know, uh, at, at the foundation, we, we certainly want to have a friendship. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, Let's pursue that. If you want to talk theology and spirituality and God and all that kind of stuff, then we can certainly do that. And I would love to do that because okay. I enjoy talking about what the Lord has done in my life yeah. and for my life. And I do believe that he'll do it for you and it would be no, uh, no less uh, powerful for you. 
Yeah, you're really hitting on almost the tone of the conversation the tone. and leading with that kindness and genuine care, which is in your closing illustration, yeah, in the story. that couple from Whole Foods did. They yeah, were just yeah. exploding with kindness yeah. and care, yeah. and that helps. Well, the second question came in and was asking about, what about people with church hurts? You know, people who have been wounded by the church. Sure. So when they hear, come and see, their initial reaction is, oh, I've seen, and it's painful, and I'm yeah. not going back yeah. in there. How would you yeah. respond to someone like that? Yeah, wow. Even in the last 24 hours in the community, in a conversation I found myself, I met such a person. Hmm. She said to me, so what do you do? And I said, well, I'm a pastor. She said, huh. She said, where? And I said, at Faithbridge. She said, well, you know, I, uh, I grew up in church. And I said, would you still go? No, I don't. Why don't you go? She said, well, not because of God, because of the people. Like, well, I, I, I've heard that before. I said, well, why don't you just come to Faith Bridge and have a new start, a fresh start? And she said, well, thanks. She said, I, I, I think I just, I, I want a little bit more time just to kind of, I didn't want to probe into, I didn't sense she wanted to tell me kind of what had happened and I didn't need to know it. But the wounds are real and people do carry them. And uh, oftentimes it's not God that they're upset with, it's, it's other Christians mm -hmm. who, were operating maybe not in the fullness of the Holy Spirit and said something, did something, uh, and brought pain into their lives. And that's terribly unfortunate uh, when that happens. I would say uh, when we encounter somebody uh, like that, um, well, just make sure that we're not piling on more hurt, mm -hmm. but that whatever we're doing or saying, um, with that person can be a balm of healing. Mm. And maybe in time they would say, well, you know what, I, I, I do trust you and I respect you. And so maybe I, maybe I might come with you um, to the place that you say is, is kind of working in your life. Uh, here again, I think there's a timing and a tone thing. It's, mm. it's, uh, it requires uh, gentleness and patience, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to, to, to get that it's it's an art and a science, right? And mm -hmm. so, um, uh, I guess that's what I would say. But but ne never give up on them. Mm -hmm. uh, show them you care and that they're always welcome. And occasionally season your conversation with an invite. Sure. You never know. One day they're like, actually, I think I would now. Yeah. And, uh, well, thanks for addressing those, and thanks for a great kick off to the shareable series. And thank you for joining us on Postscript. We'll see you back next week. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org slash postscript.